What is up everybody? Phantom Darkness 135 here. Today we are starting a new game called 1953 KGB Unleashed. This was suggested by Arsini on Facebook. Thank you Arsini. Um, I don't know too much about it. Uh, from what I saw in the Steam store, it is a point and click adventure that's a little creepy. Um, very nostalgic of the uh, Cold War era and the KGB era obviously. Um, around 1953 and uh, yeah I'm excited to start so let's just keep going and see where it leads us I'm gonna try to adjust my wires here so many wires soon it will work everywhere says Konstantin Svrodiv I have no idea if that's even Russian Makba It'd be very interesting to learn uh, the Russian alphabet and language at some point. It's very unique and I don't think I'd ever want to go to Russia. Maybe I would. Maybe it's a good tourist spot. I don't know. But I think it'd be interesting. Oh, plot twist. Whoa, the, the cutscenes look very pretty. He looks very handsome. Actually, he kind of looks like James Franco. Very cool graphics. Um, I'm pretty sure this is an... In I actually downloaded this a couple months ago because I didn't know when we were going to start it. Um, and then we started Where with the last I? door, but... Seems um, I was unconscious. The smell of burning. I don't remember how I got here. I'm pretty sure. All right. Sorry. Here are my tools and my passport. I've got to get out of here. I'm pretty sure this is an indie game, which makes it that much more impressive. That uh, it looks very good. All right. So let's see here. I okay. So that when you can interact, the mouse lights up in the middle like that. Um, I'm not sure what that. Does anyone know if that cursor is actually like an object? I can't tell if they actually made it to look like something or what. But it looks like whatever. It, let me see if I can figure out the inventory. I should look at the controls. Okay, so we have documents up here. There's our passport. Our name is Gleb. Just Gleb. Cool. Okay. And then it looks like there's our blowtorch. And that's cool that you can uh, turn the inventory on and off so that you don't have to look at it all the time. Alright, let's take a look at our desk. Nothing. Alright. For such a cramped and full room, there's not a lot to click on, although it looks like Wally is there on the wall, appropriately. Sorry. Alright, so let's check out this. Click a generator, that'd be a good place to start. Everything here is frozen. It looks like a liquid nitrogen leak occurred. This is Moscow. That's the most American sounding guy in Moscow. Okay, so I'm thinking we use the blowtorch here, but I don't know if it's full. It might be empty. Oh! No, it is in fact working. Alright. So what does that do for us? Probably gets the generator working. The door is blocked. Ah, it's too dark in here, and I can't see what the problem is. Okay. Let's see if we can put some light on. I should have said shed light on the problem, but I'm not that smart. Okay. Looks like the generator's still not working. It actually sounds like it makes a little train go off above us every time, but I think it's actually saying that the generator's flooded or something. I don't know what. Um, I can't click on anything over here. Oh, except the door. Did I miss something? Like, Oh, here we go. Um... It said, uh, cripes. I forgot. It had a voltage on there. 18. I can see it from there. Turn around. Every now and then. 
Okay. 18. So, how about a 10? Or not? Oh, here we go. 10. Uh, and an 8. I don't know what the second number means. Okay, what I forgot is uh, they use commas there for decimal points. And I'm an idiot for not knowing that or realizing that sooner. So it's going to be a lot easier now. Maybe. So <laughs> let's see, we got 12.5. We just need 18. Let's do this. Come on. Okay, 15.5 plus 2.5. There we go, 18. Gosh, that was made that way too much more complicated than it would be. Oh, it looks like you can right-click and the inventory will pop up too. There we go. Mother of God. I swear I can maths. Sometimes. Not on the spot like this. Okay, so there's a pretty looking door. Let's see what the problem is. I guess he's not going to tell us. Looks like there's a plug missing, maybe? And with the lights on, perhaps we can find a straight plug somewhere. Like there. <laughs> that was easy. Um, I'm not actually sure what that is. It almost looks like a saw. Oh, but I guess it, it was a plug of some sort. All Mechanical right. parts of the sealed door are jammed. Jammed. Ah, it was a saw. See, I wasn't all wrong. There we go. All right, past the first screens. <laughs> it only took us about 20 minutes to figure out how to add up to 18. Oh, boy. It's going to be a fun ride, fans. It's going to be a fun ride. <laughs> All right, so let me get my bearings here. That's where we came from. We'll start out. Uh, we'll look. Come on. It's one. Th I hate the scrollable things on the sides. Um, we'll start out down here and work our way up the hall. We'll work our way up the hall now, and then come back here. Anything hidden back here on this bookshelf? Nada. Okay. Let's go up the hall. Comrade Nikolayev, the management of the Research Institute has decided to temporarily reassign you from the current project to perform emergency work at a strategic underground facility of the Ministry of State Security. You'll receive your pass and all of your documents when you arrive. The equipment stopped working at 10 in the morning, and this can't wait. Today is an extremely important day, and we need everything ready by lunchtime. I trust you understand the importance of completing this task? No. I don't know anything about anything that's going on, and all of you guys do not sound Russian. I'm very suspicious. Sector head. Sounds like a fun room. It's locked, of course, because that's where all the fun stuff is. Or it's actually the sector. No, no. Um, I recognize those sort of. They're like. Uh, I believe you can read them if they go through a machine or something like that. I hope I don't have to find all these things. I have a feeling I'm going to though. Oh, it just stays there. I thought we picked it up. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Looks like there was an exit here. They've changed the layout. I need to search for another way up. Why would they just brick it up like that? Alright. Alright. We'll do that to Grib. What is this? I need a special key here. A special key? We need a special key there. Let's find the special key. Alright, so... There's lots of stuff to click on, and so much of it is just... There. There's so much information on this information board. I don't know what I expected, but this is a lot. Um, I don't see... Oh, wait, it was a grab or... It was Gleb, wasn't it? Gleb. I don't see Gleb anywhere. Oh, wait. I wanted to see the comic. Ha! 
Ha. Huh. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I, I didn't get a whole lot out of that. Let's visit the conference hall. I should have studied up on my KGB history before beginning this. It looks like everyone was evacuated and in a hurry. Okay, there's Moscow. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's just come back to this when we have a better Radio's idea. Radio's working. Except for the range switch. Except for the range switch, okay. closet. Tell me. Um, what's our last name? Wait, are these... Oh, these are not names. These are places. Okay. That's good. I'm good. Thank you. I will check out the desk now. Pencil? Oh no. I don't have time to read up on your socialist things. Okay. Seven nine zero. Is that what I'm getting out of that top thing? Or Zigo? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Idea what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I am no less lost than when I came in here. Oops. Um, can we use this on? I feel like. back here a little bit. Maybe we can mess around with the projector. Okay, so maybe this card feeds in here. Okay, there's a key. Okay. Maybe we can stick our pencil in and something will happen. All right, we'll come back to this. Let's see where this key goes to. I'm trying to remember where I saw you before. I've seen you somewhere. I don't understand yet why you're here so deep. What the real reason is, it's unclear. But you must understand that you won't manage without my help. So you'll have to be patient and listen. 
It's interesting to watch people like you. I can probably tell you a thing or two about this place. But don't expect any explanations. You have to look for answers yourself. What is going on?